Hello again, it's Invader Zim, I think, with my fifth tutorial. This one is banking, which a lot of you requested. Now, this script is I, it's almost been completely rewritten since the custom mouse tutorial that I uploaded yesterday. So, what I'm going to do, just for you guys, <laughs> is, um, well, first, I'll show you the script running, and I'll, uh, I'm gonna kind you know how people will have like a script skeleton that they start then they build onto? I'm kinda going to release to you guys uh, a script skeleton but a much more advanced version like a banking script skeleton like it's gonna be this script but I'm gonna change all of the names like willow logs ID and call it like ID here so like you can fill it in kind of just like edit that that this script that I give you to bank and do whatever you want It'll, or like to bank so basically I give you like a really advanced script skeleton uh, I'll, I'll paste both in the description because there's just like too much for me to try to explain but I, I will like well by typing but I'll show you everything that I did okay this is the walking path notice how these make it an array like I described and so I have my tiles which can be seen by going on um, on our spot to view and then player position so if you want to view what, what tiles you're standing on to record them you go to view and then player position in that order on on our spot like while you're in the game bank booth ID you get IDs for objects by going to view objects in that order also in our spot while you're by the bank booths that you want to get same thing for willows I, you just st stand by the willows and make sure view objects is selected there'll be like some numbers over the item and you just copy them down if there's more than one that you want to add remember to make an array and here's my second path trees to bank here's my hatchets status okay something I, I added this is what's called RS areas um basically you get the northwest tile I'll write it here too. Um, so basically, how you get an RS tile is you get something in the top right, the northwest, the topmost northwest tile, and the very bottom left, uh, so the southwest tile, to create a box. I'll show you guys right here. Okay. Say you wanted to get an um, an area for I'll show these rocks for example. So many people. Um, say you wanted to make an area for these rocks. This is completely for example. And I don't know why you'd want to do this for these rocks, but um. Anyway, remember view player position. There's the number. I'm not sure if you can see that. Did those come out number. Anyway, um. Hey, to make an area, remember north. East, did I say that right? Oh crap. Told you guys wrong. I very much apologize. North Northeast and Southwest. So the top right tile on the very bottom left, so you get this tile, whatever the coordinates are, and then the tile at the very southwest. You see how that kind of creates a box? Your first tile's right here, your second tile's right here, and it kind of just fills in. So everywhere within those coordinates will be your area. And so you can like, name that area like at rocks or something and into the coordinates. So remember, the very most northeast tile, in this example, it would be right here, and the very most southwest tile. And everything in there is within your area. So if I was standing right here, I'm in between the two tiles that I logged so I would be within the area. It's kind of confusing, just make remember, like, it creates a box. The the topmost northeast tile and the bottommost southwest tile to create a box. You can make it as wide as you wanted by going to here, or as skinny as you wanted. You'll learn, just remember, the northeast and southwest part is most important that I can tell you. And um, to view objects, say you want to get the IDs for willows. Well, this will be hard because there's so many people cutting here. Notice, view objects, the ID for this willow is 5553. This one's 5551. And then there's one with 5552. I think it's that one. 
but yeah, five 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 two. So get the IDs for all the willows or like rocks or fishing spots or whatever else it is. Just kind of experimenting here, give me a second. Okay, um that's glitchy. Never mind, fishing spots are considered an NPC, I guess. Anyway, if you wanted to make like a yeah. So if you wanted to view the idea of a fishing spot, you'd have to go to view NPC. But like for trees and rocks, it'd be view objects. Sorry if this is confusing. It's just it's kind of confusing to explain. And um, so to get your tiles, like to walk from the bank, I think I got this tile. So my um, my walking method, walk two trees from bank. I'd get like the tile, the bank tile one to start on, which would be here. So 30, 92, 32, 43. And then the tile where the willows are. You can make more than one. Like, you could have a tile. You can have as many tiles as you want. And you make it in this format. Um, new RS tile. See that? And to add more than one, which you probably should, <laughs> um, make it an array. Remember? RS tile. Trees to bank. Whatever you want it to be. I'm sorry if this is confusing. It's just it's kind of hard to explain. And um, here is what I recommend doing. Make multiple methods to open your bank. Like right here, I have private void use bank. What this does is it gets gets nearest bank booth ID. And if my inventory, I mean, if the bank booth is not null and my inventory contains at least one willow log ID, it will use quickly. And then I made another method, deposit willow logs, so it checks if the bank is open and if the and within the bank deposit the willow logs ID. The zero means deposit all. So like willow logs, it'll deposit the ID of the willow logs, and the zero right after it means deposit all. And then close bank, that's just some coordinates for closing the bank. I recommend not editing this because that will close the bank. And so my actual thing that I put in my loop is called bank. It combines all three of those methods. Do you see my point? It combines use bank method, deposit willow logs method, and close bank method, and combines it into one called bank. So in my loop, all I have to say is bank. Instead of having to write all of this code in like my loop, I just simply put bank, <laughs> and then it runs that code. And so, um, make sure your lot your loop, which is like which has your logic, is something like this. Like, if at trees and inventory is full, walk to bank, and if at bank and inventory contains willows, bank. If at trees and inventory is not full, chop. If at bank and inventory um, does not contain any willows, so if it just deposited, then walk back to the trees into the area following the path. Remember that I made up here? And right here? I, again, I'm sorry if this is confusing, but um, like I said, I'm going to post this full script, which you can see running right here. I paused it. Don't worry, it didn't get stuck. <laughs> and um, I'll, 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 uh, I'm going to edit this code to where you can like fill it in with as like any areas you want, any IDs you want. So basically, you can edit the script to like the paint, but I recommend making a new paint. You could adjust the anti-band. It's basically gonna be like customizable. The only thing you'll need to add will be like the names, the tiles, but that's completely optional. Again, sorry if this is confusing. It really am. Look at this code that I pasted in the description. I hope I didn't make this video over 15 minutes because then it won't upload. Anyway, bye guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Or private message me on the PowerBot thread. I'll I, I'll be completely understanding, willing to help you. Thanks, guys. Please bear with me. Good luck on making your scripts.